Welcome back to the Lab Leo Laporte here from DigitalUnderground.tv. It's Franklin Harris, and today we're going to show you how to make your own MRI at home. Not quite. No. Your this own 3D scanner. It, yeah, not this doesn't go the into the brain, but it does. No. But you know, it's kind of... No, this surface only. Surface you'll scanning learn some only. things. So what is a 3D scanner, first um, of all? A lot of movies now, you got a lot of uh, 3D graphics, a lot of animated movies like Ratatouille and, and Toy Story and stuff like that. Everything is a model. Generally, 3D artists used to create those models by hand, like literally painstakingly create the model. Now you can actually take physical objects, scan them, and convert them into an actual model, a vector-based model that you can then manipulate in a 3D program. So and you can use do this at home with a standard... Uh, standard webcam. Webcam? And that's right, a standard webcam. There's a, a bunch of students out at a university in Germany that started this project kind of as a theory. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's called the David Laser Scanner. And it's uh, David as... Um, uh, David and Goliath? Not David and Goliath. It's oh. a really bad German translation. It's a uh, simple, uh, simple video scanning system. I, I don't speak German. Okay. But Do nevertheless. It's a tough. It's, 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 it's yeah. tough. So they started this, and it's 100% it's free. Uh, you can go to their site, download the software, and the first thing you're going to need uh, is, besides a webcam, and your basic laser line level. Oh, you need a laser. You need a laser, laser, laser pointer, or is it? No, it's no, got to be one of those. Line. You know, the ones you pull to the wall that you can. It has to be fixed. It's got to be fixed, and it's got to actually produce a, uh, a physical flat, line. So that's line. that's the thing. It's not producing a point. It's not producing it's a, a point. It's a line. Okay. That's right. And within the software, you print out the two back sheets. And that's what these this, are. On that's a right. Now, with these things, what the camera actually sees, like you can see on my machine here, is it's actually going to use those as calibration points. Uh, right. we, when we do this in the studio, we actually have a big wall with that's dots right. on the you back can, of it. This, this project, you can print those as big as you yeah. want and scan the yeah. exact same way. Okay. So that, that's going to use it as reference points. And once we actually calibrate the camera, and unfortunately... So you do it without the object first. First, you're going to calibrate. Now, I'm not going to be able to calibrate it because... Too much light in here. That's right. It's way too much light. Okay. So once you're done the calibration, you kind then of you place, your, Vic. place Victor you Vic there. there. Uh, he's not going to... Well, you know what? We'll sit Vic up. How does that sound? We'll kind of do his upper torso. And... Once you, your camera's calibrated, you literally sit back, take a laser in by complete hand? darkness, by hand in complete darkness, and just pass the laser up and down over Vic. Now, the darkness is important because it, you just want the camera to register the laser light, nothing else. That's right. That's else. all you want to do. And you're just going to, you know, it will eventually tell you, I've got enough passes. So you keep going up and down. You keep going up and down. Sometimes it takes, like, what I actually ended up with is a chirp that my wife had Look at, at home. that. And it took That's me about really good. 15 minutes of scanning. How does, did you turn the object that's as right. well? That's right. That's the other. You have to uh, turn it, it in. That's right. In 15 degrees. Okay. Keep turning it. And then the software pieces it all together for you. So it took a while it, to do this. Yeah. It took a, a good 15 to 20 minutes to do a full yeah, scan. But look what you get out but of I it. But I mean, compared to, you know, $3,000 fixed um, I'm stunned. machines, I mean... It's I'm stunned. Easily. So they've done a lot of software to, to, to somehow figure out when they see that laser light where they see the laser light. Distorted right. and how you know, you, know you, you don't actually need a laser light. You could use uh, like a, a thin, a, a light thin string right. and just pass it over the front of the camera slowly. Not as good as a laser really? light. Really? Yeah, you could. Not a, they, they don't recommend that. A that light would possible. be better because you're in the That's dark right. and all that. That's yeah. right. And you're actually getting the laser and it's bouncing off. Wow. Thick, for example. So it's it's a it's a great project. It's a great a lot of fun if you if you're interested in 3D, you have a really hard time modeling like I do. This is well, a great if, yeah, way if you're using a 3D modeling program yeah. and you'd like to get something real in there, like your sister, you could just she'd have to stand very still. Very right? still. I, there's I mean for 20 minutes. The, we'll have the links in the show notes, but they have a gallery page uh, on their site of just tons of stuff that people have scanned um, oh, over time, including idea. people, large objects, cars. Right. Uh, you name it. Everything, uh, everything will it's actually tough be. It. And we'll yeah. have notes for it. where to get the software and how to do all of this on our webpage, labwithleo.com. What a neat project. I can't believe you got that little cherub. That's so beautiful. There, there's the website. There's the website with a bunch of galleries and, and some of the pictures. Hey, that there's I had yours. Yeah, that I uploaded you, to them. You gave them yours. Yeah. Well, well they, they were pretty excited when I told them about. And look how good we were it looks. Doing. They were impressed. Dafit Laser Scanner. And, uh, and they have all the details on how to do that. Isn't that neat? Thank you, Franklin Harris. No problem. DigitalUnderground.tv, that's the place to go to see stuff like this and a whole lot more. It's a great video podcast and website, DigitalUnderground.tv.